Hi guys, this is Jos from Astro NL and today I'm going to share my uh, choice of mount for the astrophotography. Um, for those of you new to astrophotography or astronomy in general, you have mainly two types of mount. Uh, the ALP-S that track up and down and left and right and the German equatorial mounts which you align with the polar axis of the Earth. And the benefit of doing that is that when you take longer exposures, which you do with uh, faint objects in the night sky, that you don't get field rotation in your image and that you get a clear image. Uh, a different category which you also have is the star trackers and they only track the night sky in one axis. But um, I chose the Skywatcher AZ GTI Wi-Fi uh, as the name suggests, it's an alt S mount, but uh, Skywatcher has brought out a uh, firmware update where you can uh, put this mount in a German equatorial mode. And for this, you'll need, of course, the mount head um, and the firmware update, but also a wedge. And uh, you place the head in the wedge so that you can polar align it to the Earth's uh, polar axis. For that, I chose the Skywatcher wedge that comes with the Skywatcher Star Adventure, which is a star tracker, but it also works fine with this mount. Um, and then also a counterweight uh, shaft and a counterweight. And this is a set that is also uh, supplied with the Star Adventure set. Um, the only thing you'll need for this, because the, mount, the, the threads on this um, bar are M8, uh, that you'll need an adapter from N8 till M12. And you can just screw this on here, like so. It's a bit stiff. And then uh, put it here, and it will fit just fine. And then, it then you can take the counterweight here, and you can balance the weight of this uh, to the weight of your telescope and camera setup. The last thing you'll need is a pair of tripod legs. I already had this uh, Manfrotto uh, tripod and it will fit the wedge uh, just fine. So the wedge goes on here and then the mount goes into the wedge. Um, well, I think this is a nice setup. It's a portable setup. It also means that you cannot load too much onto the head of this uh, mount, but it takes about five kilos or 10 pounds, I believe. Uh, so it should be fine for the lighter types of scope, which uh, I'm going to try to use. Uh, but we'll have to see how it works in practice. I've seen some nice results uh, on the internet, so I hope I can get them too. Uh, another benefit of this mount is also that it has a go-to system and it helps you find the objects in the night sky after you've uh, star aligned it. Um, so that will also help me as a beginner in astronomy uh, not to spend too much time star hopping and trying to find the objects I, that I want to photograph, but it will aid me in pointing the camera in the right direction. Uh, the next video, I will show you how to update the firmware to be able to use the uh, equatorial mode. And uh, after that, I'll hopefully also have uh, all my, the rest of my gear and I can show you that and uh, try to take uh, some pictures for the first time. So that's it for now. Um, I hope you all have clear skies and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.